So now I can filter items in the Feature Manager tree by the tag name. Renaming the tag is easily. Just select the sketch and then rename the tag. If you prefer to hide the status bar, you can go to View on the main Windows menu strip and simply unselect the status bar. If you press F11, you go to full screen mode, so this maximizes your drawing space. To exit full screen mode, just press F11 again, or you can go to View and select full screen from the drop down menu. When you press your right mouse button, you get a context-sensitive menu, and the commands available to you depend upon which environment you're in and which tool you've got open. So from here, you can select tools and options appropriate to your current activity and your current environment. To exit, just click an empty space in the graphic area. Finally, let's take a look at the Options window. We already saw this window previously. We've got two tabs, System Options and Document Properties. The Document Properties tab is where we modify the properties that are related to currently open documents, such as, for example, Units of Measurement. On the System Options tab, we modify the options that are related to SOLIDWORKS itself. Let's cancel out of this window. Lastly, I'd like to show you how real view graphics work. Let's switch to Part 9. And now let's select real view graphics. And as you see, we've got a shadow down below our part. It looks pretty good. Another option here is ambient occlusion. What this option does is create more realistic shadows. We also have the option to create shadows and to use perspective. Of course, the Real View Graphics option is more resource intensive and it might slow down your computer, so keep that in mind if you are having any issues running SolidWorks. And this concludes our introduction to the SOLIDWORKS interface. We'll be covering many of the topics that I touched on in this tutorial in greater detail soon in this course.